Alex Rowley to be followed by John Mason. Yeah, thank you, President Officer. Um, I'm reminded, um, I think it was Billy Connolly that said, don't vote, you only encourage them. And perhaps, perhaps um, I did this morning at the Local Government Committee mention to the, the Minister that I think in Orkney and Shetland, for example, local government elections, the voting was a bit higher um, than it was in the mainland. And they don't have political parties. And for me, that's the starting point, is that all political parties, political groups, need to take some kind of responsibility for how people actually feel. Um, I accept that, that Tavis is obviously elected in Shetland, but generally in local government, they're independents. Um, and I think political parties need to, to accept some kind of responsibility. Uh, the way that we campaign, the way that we organise, the way that we tend to avoid answering questions directly, and the way that we tend to campaign against each other. Um, the council tax is a classic of that. In my own by-election, I was forever being accused of saying things that I hadn't said about council tax. And really all we do is turn the public off. So, so fundamentally, um, a key issue is political parties themselves, I would suggest. Um, the, the public have had enough of us, and, and we really need to reform how we go about doing our business. If you look at the evidence for the Local Government Committee as well, looking at this issue, it was Professor James Mitchell that said, uh, when we look at turnout and participation in elections for different levels of government across liberal democracies, we find that turnout is far higher in elections for levels of government that have more power. And I think, again, that's an area that we need to look at. Local government, um, social work, education will take up something between 60, uh, 76 and 80% of the budget. You take some of the other statutory services round about that. Actually, when we talk about devolving into communities, we're, we're, we're at the margins of local government and we're at the margins of local government uh, budgets. Um, so, 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 so we need to look at that. We need to look at an honest discussion about how local government is funded. And I did at the local government committee this morning. I asked the minister if he would accept once we get past the referendum, regardless of the outcome of the referendum, perhaps we can then get everyone in this chamber to start to come together and have a serious debate and a serious discussion about what local government looks like and, more crucially, how local government is funded. There is major pressures, and again, without getting into a debate in terms of local government finance and the amount of funds that they've actually got. We know from demographics, we know from the number of young people that are coming into the care of local authorities, the demands on local government services are growing and growing. Um, and regardless of the, the, the political colour of the government in this place or any other place for that matter, we need to have a serious grown-up discussion with local government and with local communities about how local government is funded. And I do hope that once we get past this referendum, I accept it would be difficult to get it before then, but once we get past the referendum, we actually can start to have that discussion. Um, so whilst, whilst I agree we need to look at all these other sort of technical issues about improving voting, there's something more fundamental uh, um, at the heart of the issue why people are not voting. I am supporting the motion put forward, by the amendment put forward by Sarah Boyack because, again, I'm sure many people in here that are campaigning will um, have, have, have saw for themselves when you go out with an electoral register and you start to knock up in areas, if you go into areas where there's higher deprivation, um, you actually find that there are a, a lot of streets where there are just house after house after household where they're not in the electoral register. And again, I think that's why it's right to flag that point up. I hope the Minister will take that on board and we can have consensus at the end of this debate today. But in conclusion, um, Presiding Officer, um, yes, all these other things that have been talked about we should look at, but much more fundamentally than that, let's look at ourselves, let's look at political parties, and let's look at how we finance local government. Thanks so much.